So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna take a look at the stances for hammers and the stances are Shattering Storm and Crushing Ruin and let's start it off with Shattering Storm which is described as a stance with methodical strikes and high impact combos and it has a deep polarity which matches the Magistar So the first combo is called Rising Thunder and this is your standard EEE button mash and there is nothing special about this combo other than it being the standard combo you get if you don't have any stance equipped the second combo is called Falling Rock and you have to tap backwards with the fourth attack. And this combo starts off with three regular strikes and after that you will do an AoE double strike that does 150% damage and it ends with a double strike slam that does 250% damage. Now it is very much recommended to simply tap backwards with the fourth attack rather than holding backwards throughout the entire combo. The third combo is called Smashing Fury and to execute this one you have to pause after the first attack. Now, this combo starts off with a regular strike and after the pause every single attack will do 150% damage, alright? So the Multiplier Madness starts off with a double strike which is followed by a slam that procs impact. After that you will do a regular strike followed by a double strike and it all ends with a slam. And the fourth and final combo is called Pounding Smite and this one is really easy to do, just hold the block button while mashing the melee button. And this combo starts off with a regular strike, then you will do a strike that does 150% damage which is followed by a strike that does 250% damage, after which you will do a double strike that does 175% damage and you finish the combo with a double strike slam that does 150% damage. And this stance drops from General Sargus Rook, so all you have to do to get it is farm the Tethys Assassinate mission on Saturn. And this stance is an absolute beast, alright? The multipliers, the multi strikes, the slams, the AoE, it's so goddamn powerful without sacrificing any of the fun factor. You know, usually when I record these clips for the stance videos, I stay in the mission for about 5 minutes and then I leave. With this one though, I stopped recording after about 8 minutes and I went all the way up to 25 minutes where I ran out of life support because I was so caught up in the combos I completely forgot about it. I really can't recommend this stance enough, you know, it's fun, it's fluid, the way enemies fly away when you slam the ground feels so powerful and it's so satisfying to pull off combo after combo after combo and it's ridiculously easy to get this stance as well. You know, you're gonna get it after like 5 runs on Tethys. So there is really no reason why you shouldn't at least try it out. And moving on to the second stance, Crushing Ruin, which is described as a stance with aerial attacks with crowd control combos and it has a V polarity which matches the Fragger and Jat Kitag. So the first combo is called Tidal Force and this is your standard EE button mash and there is nothing special about this one, it's just three regular attacks one after another. The second combo is called Shattered Village and to execute this one you have to pause after the second attack. And this combo starts off with two regular strikes and after the pause you will do one more regular strike which is followed by an AoE triple strike that does 175% damage and you will finish it off with another AoE triple strike that does 150% damage. Now if that's not enough, the second Rufflecopter will also explode at the end and it will ragdoll enemies around you. So what I'm basically saying is that the final attack is a dash that gives you really good mobility and hits everything around you three times with 50% extra damage. And if anything or anyone dares to survive it, it will also explode and ragdoll them. Yeah. The third combo is called Raging Whirlwind and this one is really easy to do, just hold the block button while mashing the melee button. And this combo starts off with two regular strikes followed by a double strike and it ends with a slam. And the fourth and final combo is called Winding Temper and to execute this one you have to tap backwards with the third attack. And there is nothing special about this combo, it's just four regular attacks one after another. Now it is once again recommended to simply tap backwards with the third attack rather than holding it because if you hold it you will slowly slide backwards. And this stance drops from all the different variations of the Grenier Seeker. Now all the Grenier Seekers have a base spawning level of 1, so it technically doesn't matter which Grenier mission you do because they're gonna spawn anyway. But they do seem to appear more often during the Grenier Alert mission, so keep an eye out for those. Now first things first, I farmed this stance for months. Literally, and I was unsuccessful. And this video only exists because Mr. No Swag No Life was kind enough and gave it to me. So I want to say thank you one more time to Mr. No Swag No Life because without him, this video would simply not exist. Now, is this stance any good? Yes, yes, it is. Is it better or worse than the first one? Well, none of those two. 
Both stances are absolutely superb, both in terms of power and fun. They are what you would call a side grade, okay? The first stance may have more in terms of multipliers and slams, but the second stance has more in terms of mobility and AoE and multi-strikes in general. And they also feel kind of similar, because if you were to take one combo from either stance, and put it onto the other stance, it would not feel like it doesn't belong there. So with hammers, it's very much a personal preference. Do you prefer multipliers and slams, or mobility and multi-strikes? And that's it for the hammer stances, so I thank you very much for watching once again, and if you're interested in other stances, you can click the link in the description, and it will take you to the Warframe stances playlist. And I will see you, as always, next time. Bye-bye!